Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here and I know it's been quite a little bit since I gave you guys some thoughts to enjoy and just try some some new project stuff out. So uh, here, let's check them out. And uh, if y'all got any like ones that I don't, you know, that I haven't said yet, you can just swing those in the comments, please. So the first font we have is Ballistic, a binary influence sans serif font with futuristic and retro inspired characters. If we're talking sci-fi space aesthetic, this font has it down. With five weights, two styles, numbers, punctuation, and multilingual support, this font has its perks that can make any project look amazing. And while also being free for commercial use, it's just silly not to consider. Next is Vertigo, a futuristic display font free for personal use, inspired by simple and bold shapes. Using its thin, thick, and pointed elements, it allows its presence to also feel futuristic, while also giving heavy nods to a retro 70s approach. I could be solo there, but pairing this font with a mono typeface or even a gothic typeface can make a lot of products sing. Lumen is next. Inspired by the Philippines and its culture, this display font matched with the right color scheme could be amazing. With special characters being included and the fact that it also kind of feels like an LED screen airport lettering typeface thing as well, I mean, it's kind of a no brainer with the flexibility that this font can provide. And being free for commercial use as well, it's an easy pickup for those looking to work with projects that require a little bit of spice. Next is Merced. It's a contemporary sans serif typeface with super deep ink traps to assist in legibility no matter how small your letters are, while also adding a stylistic element. Nine weights, multiple language supports, and an overall clean sans serif. And if you ever find yourself designing a really small document size and the text gets really blurry, this can definitely help solve that. Now we have Wriggle. It's an insanely cool abstract typeface that is so playful and also indefinite. I mean, the words I want to say is kind of like groovy 60s vintage approach. However, it's still so fun and almost texture-like where this typeface personally would act as a texture for myself. Literally just taking any letter and making it really big, you got like yourself like a liquify texture. Combined with the right layer styles and color combinations, you're finding such a free-spirited look. Just as texture alone, you'll probably find this font really useful in your library. And with the 2022 trends being this brutalist design, this can definitely take the case. Up next is Round Love, a hand-drawn organic font that I threw in here for thumbnail reasons, to be honest. Look, all I am saying this font is super fun, bold, and lively, where it's going to be going into my arsenal, and I'm just probably going to use it for those reasons. Like, look, if you're still using Burbank for your gaming thumbnail, like, font stuff, like, okay, you know live a little. Next is Aged. It's a bold display font with its purpose of its highlight trap areas to sort of resemble glitter. The font really lends itself in my opinion to like a Y2K apparel design typeface where paired with the right assets and design layouts, it can make some awesome products both digital and physical. Quinn being our next font is a retro sans serif that has expressive character extensions that can maintain a bold and unique style alongside its unique curves. If we're talking logos, labels, handwritten projects, Quinn can be a perfect typeface pairing for your branding projects that need to have that dated look but also maintain that fresh appeal. Up next is Kelso, a free for commercial use graffiti bubble typeface coming in with two different styles, fill and stroke with the full alphabet. It perfectly represents an urban street subway aesthetic that can bring to life any design with this font thrown into the mix, even as a texture. So basically, if you guys deal with apparel or Chicago, New York culture, it's a great pickup. And last up, we have Fight, a pixel game inspired typeface that I thought was way too cool not to throw in. With pixel art basically never going anywhere or like maybe game title logos already in need, this font can produce the correct environment feeling alone. So like thumbnails or posters and the need to connect gaming to a basic design, fight is pretty freaking cool. Also, if I can just save any time with layer styles, then this is, this is just a win. So with all this, I pretty much hope you guys enjoy some of these fonts and if not, then I, I tried. But I think you guys will probably enjoy at least like some of them, okay? So with that being said, the download links will be in the description down below for each individual font as well as a little font pack bundle. Yeah, that's all I got. Enjoy. Hope you guys do enjoy. I hope you guys use some of these fonts and uh, I hope I helped you guys get out of some creative block with some ideas. Or you're stuck in darkness for a few more weeks. Who knows? We'll see. Anyways, that's what HQ out. Now to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud of guys. Later, much love, peace, and uh, enjoy.